welcome back to the channel. Yesterday I hit a thousand subs, um, so I'm stoked. And I just wanted to say thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing. Um, and thanks also for leaving all your comments and encouraging me uh, with these videos. And today uh, we're on our way to Sony in Castle Hill to pick up my brand new camera. Um, I'm really excited because, you know, the past year I've been doing this, I've been filming everything, well, pretty much everything with my GoPro Hero 9. And you guys are still watching. Uh, so imagine the content we could make with this uh, new camera. Um, so yeah, we're on the way to Sony in Castle Hill and I'll see you guys there. How's it going everyone? I just wanted to make this video tonight in light of passing a little milestone for me um, and I wanted to use the opportunity to thank a few people. Uh, I wanted to answer a few questions on my camera equipment um, and I also wanted to let you guys know my plan for the channel. You know, set a few expectations so that you guys know what you're looking forward to. So firstly, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Um, and not only subscribing, you guys have been watching my videos. I think a few days ago we hit 5,000 watch hours and you know, it really amazes me that you guys are watching my videos in the first place, uh, but for that long, thank you. Um, I wanted to thank a few people. Uh, firstly, Omar from Race Only. You know, when I first started this channel, um, it was actually meant to be around rotary content. Okay, to my 18 YouTube subscribers. So today we're gonna be working on the RX-7. So I bought the RX-7 and I love making videos and I thought, you know what, let's start this channel. Um, and we finally got around to doing it. But once we got into the rotary world, I quickly figured it out. This was way beyond my comfort zone. So the rotary world is still really new to me, uh, but with the support of Race Only, you know, I've had a lot of fun uh, and I've learned a lot on the way. So thank you guys. I know at the moment I've left the OG rotary subscribers hanging. Uh, there hasn't been much content on the RX-7, but trust me, I promise. Uh, there is a lot of content coming very soon for the RX-7. Next, I want to thank Jaden Miard and Hard Race Australia, uh, in particular Kitty, Yonis and Z. We're about over a decade into this friendship and you guys have been supporting me the whole way. Uh, and you know, you guys are my harshest critic, but also one of my biggest supporters. Um, so thank you very much. And of course, family and friends, most importantly, my wife for giving me the time and the space to make this content for giving me ideas and liking the videos. My mates, you guys know who you are. Uh, you guys donate parts to my builds. Uh, you guys offer your help and you give me plenty of feedback on my videos. So um, yeah, I really appreciate it. I know it's just a small milestone, but I am grateful the same. So yeah, I'm really excited to see what this channel will grow into. Um, so make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. So a few of you guys have been asking me what kind of equipment I use to film the content. Um, and to be honest, I haven't really given an answer because I've been changing it up constantly. Um, so I thought today um, I'll show you guys what I've been using, what's worked and what hasn't worked. And I'm gonna show you guys my new equipment. All right, so this is all the camera equipment I've been using up until this point. Um, and you know, 95% of the content that I filmed, I filmed with this GoPro Hero 9. Um, this is just with a Ulanzi plastic cage, uh, the light on top and on the GoPro, um, the GoPro Maxi tripod. You know, it's done a really good job. For such a small action camera, um, it's been amazing. Um, so after that first video, uh, the video that started it all, um, everyone was complaining about the audio. So I went ahead and got myself a Rode uh, Video Micro, I think it's called. Um, but I found that the pickup of the microphone was just too... Uh, directional. Um, so eventually I ended up buying the uh, Rode Wireless Go 2 with the lavalier mic. I think that's how you say it. Um, and um, yeah, uh, to show more detail and more cinematic 
footage, which I, which is what I wanted to do. Um, I ended up using my phones to start recording, uh, and I got myself an OM5 gimbal. Um, this is from DJI, just for stabilization. Some of you know that I actually used to do a lot of photography. Um, so I also tried using my 5D Mark III, um, and it's got that 2470 lens uh, as well. So for drone footage, I've been using my old and faithful uh, DJI Phantom 4 Pro. Um, it is quite heavy to lug around, um, and I actually bought this in the first place for drone fishing. We used to fly baits offshore uh, with this big drone, um, and you know what? Uh, it still does the job really nicely and it gets some sick footage. Um, being so heavy as well, we've actually been able to fly um, in some pretty rough conditions, um, which you just couldn't do with a smaller drone. So of all this equipment, what's worked and what hasn't? Uh, we'll start off with the GoPro, which I've been raving about. Um, you know, this GoPro has been amazing. It's so compact, you can fit it inside the fender well. Um, uh, it is light, so it's very easy to hold and vlog with. Um, you know, all the accessories are really easy to detach. Um, you know, all the GoPro mounts are just very quick release. And it just makes things really, really easy. So the downside with the GoPro is uh, the battery life. Uh, when I film with it, I tend to have about three batteries with me. Um, and also I can't seem to be able to charge it while recording. I think it heats it up too much. So that's something you need to factor in. Another downside is just the detail you can show in this. The image is actually quite sharp, uh, but you're not able to zoom in or focus. So um, that's just something you never get from an action camera. So the Rode microphones, they've been great. Um, I probably wouldn't buy the video micro if I was to do it again. Uh, I think it has a time and place, but just for the type of recording I do, it's mainly speaking into the camera and I just don't really need to use this. Um, even then, uh, with the Wireless Go 2, it does everything I need to. You know, you've got two microphones with the Go 2. So even if I'm recording just sounds like car sounds, I can have a microphone at the exhaust, I can have a microphone in my chest. Um, or if I'm doing an interview style like the engine teardown we did with race only, you can have a microphone on each person. And the Rode Lavalier, um, this is supposedly broadcast quality. And I've only used it once because it's so hard to set up um, or I'm just not doing it properly. I just find these um, go-to receivers uh, really easy um, and the sound is quite good. Um, so the phone, the phone records really well. Um, I really like uh, the S21 because the quality you get from a phone is just phenomenal. And the DJI OM5, um, for 300 bucks, I really expected better. Um, I regret buying this and I am definitely getting rid of this ASAP. And finally, we have the Canon uh, 5D Mark III with the 2470 lens. Um, it's just not designed for video. Uh, it is a camera really good for taking photos, um, but for videos, it just seems to struggle. Uh, you can record at 1080p, but only at 24 frames per second. And also it's just too heavy. Um, and for some reason, I couldn't get the image to be clear. Uh, I did play around with the settings for a long time. The image just wasn't as crisp uh, as the GoPro, surprisingly. All right, so I've just switched back to my GoPro and I'm gonna show you guys my new camera. So this is my new um, Sony ZV-E10 uh, and this is an APS-C mirrorless camera uh, with the ability to interchange lenses and I've currently got the 1650 kit lens um, and yeah, to be honest I don't know much more about the camera um, and I didn't really consider any other options and on the weekend I also picked up this new gimbal for stabilization. This is the GN Tech Crane M3 um, and yeah. What a beast it is. I love that it has a little light in the front. It just replaces a light like this. Um, you know, comparing these two gimbals, uh, this DJI OM5 is just rubbish. I would never buy this again. Um, the Crane M3 actually comes with a mobile phone holder. Um, so you can actually balance and use your mobile phone with, uh, with a gimbal like this. Um, yeah, I really like the sleek look. It's really compact. Um, and so far, it's been really, really easy to use. So I've just been getting used to this new setup. Um, I bought a few accessories for it and I'll be happy to report that this is an amazing camera. You know, the footage I've been able to get from this as a beginner, um, it's been amazing. 
That said, uh, I still don't think that a camera like this could replace a GoPro. The GoPro uh, is really simple and easy to use for a reason. And I think for the type of content that I produce, I still think some of the content's gonna come from this GoPro. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions about any of this gear, um, feel free to leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. So I just wanted to finish off the video with a little bit of an update on the channel and also just to let you guys know the direction that I want to head the channel in um, so you guys know what to expect. Um, so yeah, uh, based on the feedback from the previous video, it seems like a big portion of you guys want to see more of that detail type content, you know, your reviews and your installations. Some of you guys want to see more of that racing type stuff, which is really cool. And also some of you guys want to see more of that adventure type content. So your four wheel driving, your camping, your fishing, uh, that kind of thing. Um, and at the moment, the plan is, and this could change, the plan is to focus more on the builds and those detailed videos which have done really well and been popular on the channel. I've also got a huge backlog of parts ready for the RX-7 um, and there's also a little bit of work that I want to do on the 79 series which is going to be really exciting. So in the next few months what you can expect is more of that garage style content. You know going back to the basics of what started the channel, uh, we're going to be doing some more welding, we're going to be doing mods on the RX-7 um, and also just generally building stuff. So I will have to be a bit picky and choosy with the type of content that I release uh, just because of time, but also I don't want to stretch myself too thin uh, and I also want to enjoy what I'm doing. Anyways, that's it for the video. And again, thank you so much for your support. Um, if you haven't subscribed, now's the good time to go and subscribe. Go and say hello in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video.